loves is your girl April another AliExpress review and of course this is a hair review and this is for Grace hair um, I actually did a review for them already like last year like last year the hair is like bomb ass really like it's some beautiful hair. The hair that I have on is actually not from AliExpress. It's from a website, JS Luxury Hair. So there is no free stuff that I've gotten with this hair except for the hair. I'm not really sure if when you order, if you get free stuff like lashes or curlers or what have you. But either way, their hair is like bomb. I'll put their initial reviews down below um, from, from like last year. But they have like some really, really nice hair. So like I was saying, um... This is totally different, and this is Philippine hair. This is, oh wow, so she sent me something different. I didn't ask for Philippine hair, but that's what I got, so hey, okay. That's this what's is up. This pamphlet that comes with care instructions and so forth. Inside is their little brochure or brochure card. So, what I got is the natural wave, which to me kind of resembles like a body wave. So I have four bundles. Of uh, 222 inches and 220 inches and a 16 inch closure um, from them. So they didn't have a natural wave closure so I just told them to send me like a body wave closure because it kind of resembles the same thing. So this is their coils, their bundles wrapped really neatly like really really pretty hair. Look at it, it's like lustrous, really pretty. The ends are beautiful it's not frayed, it's not dry, like they are like really like a good seller on AliExpress. This is one of the top notch sellers uh, next to a couple other ones. Is their 22 inch which comes just like this and then all the other ones, you know, they're all the same. 22, 22, 20, and 20, 20. So I have four of these which are excellent quality, like excellent, excellent quality. Their packaging is even nice. And it's a 14 inch closure, so it's just a lace closure. Um, here is their closure. Um, I love these closures with the reinforced sides because oh, I, I had to uh, make a unit for someone and theirs didn't have this. I was so like teed off, peed, teed, and just pissed off because they don't lay flat and you got to really work with them and then they're like easy to rip and stretch out a shape and just rip and I just don't have time for all that so I really prefer these versus anything so ladies if you're getting a wig made or anything try to get these kind of closures with the reinforced sides because these are a whole lot better they might cost a couple bucks more but trust me in the long run you will really really be happy that you did the knots like I love Grace hair I love the hair that I have by them like it was bleached twice and it still looks awesome like so the knots are, are gorgeous this is the first time I've ever had a closure by them because the other one I just just made um I just had a U part but this is a nice closure really pretty closure there's nothing wrong with it I love the color it will work great so you guys already know the rest I'm going to continue on with this video I don't try to bore you with a too long of a video or too many parts but yeah so enjoy So this is the actual highlighting and frosting cap and it does have these little blue holes in it as you can see right here. There are blue holes in the there are holes in the blue circles as well as there's tiny little holes without outside of that. You can either pull your hair through every single hole or just select the ones. So it does come with one of these like little crochet needles. Um, you can kick, pick those up. It doesn't come with the one that I particularly have in my hand. The ones that they do come with are plastic ones. I just went and bought one. But I did put a line here, a marker right here because this is where my part is going to be at in my actual unit. And I don't want to pull hairs throughout it because I don't like like that bleach stain or bleach demarcation inside of my part where my part area is it is that it just always kind of like throws me off so I just really can't stand it so that is the reason why I put the marker right there so that way I know where my part is going to be at and I won't pull through and get any type of demarcation so I'm going to be using the actual 20 cream developer so skip the 30 and this is the salon care for seam lights in violet 
I always use the violet one because it just gives like a really warm color. And I'm going to put two scoops of the bleaching powder along with four scoops of the actual 20 developer cream. And I'm going to mix them really well. You want to make sure that you mix it well because you don't want any kind of clumps or anything like that. And for me, I really don't like my mixture too thick because it's kind of clumpy to me. And then I don't like it too thin. Um, because it's just too runny and it to me it doesn't really hold but you want it in between kind of like in between so I'm going to just take this hair hair that I'm not going to be highlighting and I'm just going to braid it and kind of like secure it away so that way there's no bleach that gets on the actual hair and you always want to make sure that you have on gloves just to protect your hands from any type of mixtures chemicals because it will it will burn your skin trust me ladies i have used this before without any gloves and my hands were stinging so i would highly suggest making sure that you have on rubber gloves of some sort each time you're processing hair whether it be dye or bleach just to make sure that you don't burn your skin and just want to take a like bleaching brush and brush it all the way on. I placed a bag on it just so that way the hair can generate heat and it can process for like 30 to 45 minutes. Um, but I do go back and forth and check on it. This unit has finally been done. Um, it has been done probably like really finished now for like uh, three weeks. It was a trial and error with this actual wig that I created. Meaning the first thing that I did was I put a highlighting cap on it and I highlighted it. I didn't have enough highlights for me and I didn't use a really strong developer. I, I think I used a 20. So I went ahead and decided, okay, I'm just going to use a 20 to bleach the entire hair because the highlights will pop a little bit more, but the hair will be a different color because I really didn't want it to be dark, which it really was. And then I toned it with my favorite, well, a toner, T14. And I said, well, you know what? It's very pretty, but I'm going to retone it with the Wella toner. I think it was 24 or 15, something like that, which was more blonde. So it was like trial and error. Um, really wasn't like an error, but I just was like so undecided. I wanted to change it. I wanted to do different. I wanted to do this. I wanted to do that. However, the good thing about it, because of my ch mind changing, the hair actually held up superb. Knotty knots, little swollen pregnant knots in it where I was where it was parted and I wanted to make sure that it looked really good so I did tweeze a little bit of them. Okay, you guys, so there you have it. Um, it's more or less like an auburn brown or like chestnut brown. This is more like a, a chestnut brown. I didn't want it too blonde because of the winter months, but I just wanted to do something a little bit different. So you do see like a little bit of the highlights in it. You can see that because they are like lighter colors, which I like because so it's not a flat color. It's just not like this one flat color. So that is the way that I would do my highlights if I wanted the hair to be lighter I would highlight the hair first and then I would allow it to sit for like a few days and then I would go back and then I would just re-bleach the entire thing so the highlights would get lighter but the hair would get light as well but the highlights would be the lightest so that's how I do it so that way the hair has a you know kind of a dimension no flat color yes grace hair this is like i said the second hair second time for me reviewing for them the first time was like a couple of years ago and i love that wig it still held up it was bleached twice and it's not a full wig it's a u parts so they're malaysian loose wave but the hair held up really well the and ends they are trimmed and they could um, probably be conditioned a little bit better. I do have some stuff that I'll probably use to condition it. But I did trim the ends. I did cut it and kind of layer it throughout. Not too much layering because I didn't want to take too much length off of it. Their hair is like some bomb ass a la express hair. Really some bomb ass a la express hair. There are so many vendors that I've done videos for. But I really do like theirs a lot because their hair always turns out really well and it just performs well. It lasts so much longer. So yes, you ladies. 
Um, I will post all their information for Grace Length, uh, Grace Hair below. And as always, if you want to use it, create it, you can always hit me up. I'll post my website information below, or you can also send me an email. And as always, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you girls on my next video.